of the things I love about Carmel is the positive peer pressure. Students here encourage one another. They encourage one another to study, to do homework, to be involved in extracurricular activities. You walk into a classroom and you can have a special relationship with that teacher, a one-on-one -on -one relationship with anyone in the school, and they, everyone wants everyone to succeed. There is a push for excellence. There's a community feel here that's not present at any other high school in the area. There is, it's the best academics in the area, and even though it costs them money every year, it's definitely the best place for me to grow. There's a lot of excitement, obviously, the first year of high school, but everyone was just really friendly, really social. There's no limit to what you can do at Carmel. The Carmel student to me is very unique. We are blessed. They are fine leaders. They are respectful, helpful. They are courteous. They're hardworking, and they really care about each other. Our service hours, which asks our students to go outside of our school and work with the community, and I think that really helps students realize that they have a greater purpose outside of themselves. It impacts our environment, so much so that people will comment when they come here that there's something special about Carmel. And I, after all of my years here as teacher and administrator, um, I'm a believer that there is something different about Carmel. Kids work hard, they listen, they ask great questions. If you walk up and down a hallway the morning before school starts, almost every classroom has two or three kids in there asking a the teacher for help. The differences that you can find in our faculty is that they see their role as teacher as a vocation more than a job. And when it's vocation, you don't limit yourself to the hours of the contract or to the classes that you teach. You go the extra mile by offering yourself in support to the students who need academic assistance, by working in the clubs, by becoming fans of the students on the field, um, by having an open door and a listening ear when the students need someone um, to talk to. Everybody contributes. The kids contribute, the teachers contribute, the administration contributes, uh, their parents contribute a lot. It's one of the, the best parts about teaching here is, is how the parents are involved in a positive way in their kids' education. The, the incorporation of technology in the classroom is something that I, I'm very excited about and um, have used in the classroom and look forward to expanding on it. Um, the students really are drawn to it. This is something that they, they have grown up with <laughs> and, and it's the, the technology moves so fast. It's nice to be able to use it in the classroom. One of the big things that we're doing right now is tablet PCs uh, with wireless connections to projectors. So that gives the teacher the ability to walk around the classroom with the tablet PC, you know, using notes and that type of thing on the board, and it doesn't lock a teacher in front of the chalkboard or in front of the whiteboard or at a podium. The great thing that it allows a teacher to do is try new things. I mean, that's the, one of the greatest things here about Carmel is that the teachers aren't afraid to try something new. It's just a place that builds the whole person. I think Carmel's reputation within the community really stands out. When I talk to people about other high schools, they'll say, oh yes, I know that high school. But when I talk about Carmel, um, people say, oh, I know someone who went to Carmel Catholic. And I think that's really important that um, students, when they come here, it's really ingrained in them that they have a service. They should go out, they should do something above and beyond. And our students have so many opportunities to, to go out into the community and really make a change. Being aware of what is going on is a part of being a mature adult. And so we make a point of uh, calling students' attention to the things that are going on out of, outside of Carmel as well as inside. I would talk to my friends that go to other high schools and I would ask them about volunteer opportunities and service and they just really don't have what we have at Carmel. And I feel like a big part of an education is service. To complete that, it's not just knowledge and information, but applying it for the benefit of other people, for a better world. A big reason of why I came to Carmel, I wanted to have a chance to um, be a true Christian to other people in my community. And now that I am able to, you know, go out and do my service hours, I, I go over the 40 hours. It, it's just, it's good to give back to the community. seen 
life-changing, life-changing things happen to students who have been involved in fine arts, whether it's music, the stage, marching band, visual arts. They are a testament to what we do. Fine arts are about life. Drama is about life. It's about people. And I find that students that are in fine arts, they're the leaders. They're the leaders of the school. They can speak in front of groups. They can really challenge themselves to be better people and accepting of every type of person because after all, we're all different. The qualities of a Carmel athlete we're looking for are really is kind of a threefold thing. One, we're looking for kids who are excited about their families and their religion. Second, we're looking for kids who are great students who are competitive in the classroom. But while they're in the hallways, we really challenge them to be great leaders in the school and have the hallways as pleasant as possible. And third is that we expect them to be excellent athletes in terms of hard work, uh, great making good choices, and uh, just being leaders everywhere. We've been very successful at multiple sports here at Carmel, especially the last 25 years, because of the great student athletes that we get. We're not shying away from the fact that our winning percentage is probably over 70% over that time frame because of the overall dedication of the student athlete, the coaches, and then it's just an environment where pushing a child to challenge himself is accepted. That's accepted in the classroom, that's accepted in ministry, that's accepted hopefully in their, their families, but certainly we try to model that here. We do not just go out and play sports. We change clothes and we have another classroom outside. And that's the approach that we've taken through athletics. I think that's been a great way to um, continue our successes here. I've been fortunate to work in a number of schools, um, not only in America but also back home in Europe as well. And often parents, you know, ask why should they, why should I send my child to this particular school? I think one of the things that Carmel offers is um, a great environment in which children really can find their niche, uh, and they are surrounded by like-minded students who are all striving to succeed. When you're thinking about sending a child to Carmel, one of the things that you should consider is the fact that we are a college prep school, we're also a Catholic school, but we offer things that some of the local schools may not, and that's a strong sense of community, not only for the local Carmel community, but also for the world community. I think it's a great idea to choose Carmel because of the family atmosphere and the community, and that everyone's here for each other, and that um, if you need help, there's someone here to help you, and you're not alone, and you really feel that here. When I came here and visited, I saw this different kind of atmosphere than I saw at different other schools and I saw a family atmosphere, I saw all the things I love to do, the academics was superb, the sports teams were good and the activities that anyone could take so I knew this is the place for me because I could combine all those aspects into one thing. Yeah and I knew that Carmel was the place for me because I wanted that added academic challenge. I came from a public uh, middle school and I knew that if I came to Carmel I would be challenged and that I could exceed that challenge and really find out what I was capable of. They say you can really see a Carmel student um, in the community and, and they do stand out and, it, and that's something that impresses me, their um, willingness to go and help others and to do for others as well as be successful in the classroom. And they know that when they leave here they will have some of the skills that they need to be successful in college and eventually to be successful in the work that they do. In eighth grade I had to choose between going to Carmel High School or Vernon Hills High School. But when it came to my final decision I chose Carmel and that's because what I think Carmel offers is the opportunity just to branch out and meet new people, kind of expand into a Catholic education which I never experienced before going to a public school and I'm glad it did. I feel like I have more understanding of my faith. Um, with school uniforms I feel like I can express myself more intelligently. And then there's this whole community feel that you've probably heard a bunch of times. And it's true, we are one big family, you know. The fact that they were expected to work hard, that they were expected to, to do well, and uh, that they were pushed to become more than they thought they could be. 
sometimes when people say why caramel, I say why not caramel. Um, caramel does what cannot be done in the public sector. We understand that education certainly is academics and we offer an excellent academic program. But in addition to that, we um, offer them spiritual development. That endorsement on the individual um, of God in their lives, of their personal importance, of their sense of their purpose in this world, of the fact that they are, are gifted as an individual in the way that no one else is. To me, it's the Carmel experience that sets us apart from um, any other school.